What's up, decorator? We're gonna talk today about the shikter. Shikter, it's hard to pronounce. So the shikter is a uh, brush that we use primarily for marbling and in usually in a water-based medium, but it could also be used in a uh, oil medium as well. It is round, very bushy, very meaty, a lot of hair. And the hair here is a mix of squirrel, black squirrel, and a little bit of goat, and a little bit of synthetic. It's a great blend. So this is a brand new one. I'm not gonna use this. I'm using my old guy that's been broken into. Uh, what I do first, I dip it into the water, just to open it up to, to get it nice and wet. And you load up the, the shikter. The way you load it up is that you load it up in a round manner like this. And once you try to push it, and you try to get beautiful little licks there, little cow licks. And that allow you, and I'm holding this towards the end here so it's a lighter, and it allows me to create a beautiful, very marble-like pattern throughout your surface. A bit of yellow oxide, nice and, ox and, and open. And on the end, just a little push down to get a nice little lick like this. And then, there we go. And finish it up like that. Uh, what I love about this is the fact that it gives me a beautiful quick texture very, very quickly. Uh, I can come back here and there, creating a little bit of differences. Now I'm going to do the negative part. Before I did the positive, which is this, now I'm going to do the negative part where I glaze and then I remove. And this time it's just been dipped in the water once. Really there's another thing. And all I'm doing now, I'm using this to create a beautiful texture. And look at this, I'm getting some nice little vein. I rotate it. And now I'm gonna open this further. All I have to do is clean the brush furthermore. Wring it out. And again, I come back now and you see I'm, I'm opening even further. Like that. And that allows me to get a beautiful texture that will be perfect for a lot of the marble. <clears throat> one also, one of the big difference also with the shikter as opposed to a sponge, even though they give you a very similar uh, uh, look of texture, and it's true, I mean, it's, this is like the Porzman uh, uh, shikter, basically this will get you the same print every time, it's not going to vary, whereas this one will get a different print, but most importantly, if you work, say, uh, on molding, like something like this, uh, I'm going to do it here, you will see that basically your sponge is limited to only get, uh, and even if I really try, uh, to get really heavy here and almost nothing here or nothing at all. If you want to get in here, I get a push on it, and now this is all thick and this is a big blob in here. So, not to mention that your hands are covered with paint after a while. Okay, and with the shikter, you'll be able to get right into those groups. So, you start like this, you move around, and then you get into this little detail. See that? Up, oh, you get in there, and then you can always get back in there. You see how you get right in there and it's even. There's no overlap. And how quick is it? Look at that. Look how much load you get out of this. It's really a phenomenal brush for this type of thing. But you can really control where you put it, like this in corners in very tight grooves. And see, I haven't reloaded once. And look how even this is. Whereas this, I skipped everywhere and it's getting really chunky in here. 